Here in Riyadh uh, at the Future Investment Initiative Conference, I'm joined by Shravin Mittal, founder of Unbound and the managing director of Bharti Global. Unbound, we all know Shravin is a top performing global tech investment firm. Welcome to Times Now. Thank you for speaking with us. My pleasure. Thank you. What brings you to Riyadh? So, uh, you know, it's um, been a few trips now that I've, uh, I've come to Riyadh. I, I see... Um, a lot of ability for our companies to partner with the kingdom over here. It originally started with OneWeb, which is a satellite constellation that we invested through Party Global. We have a partnership here with Neom. And now a lot of our technology investments through Unbound, whether it's in financial services, enterprise software, cybersecurity, are looking to expand into the region. And that's why I'm here to you know, bring those companies here, get them the right home, and make sure that they can expand as they have done globally. Bharti is a big name in India, a legacy business, and you are the next generation. Can you tell us a little bit about, as an investment firm for Bharti Global, how is India seen currently? No, Bharti is, uh, you know, it's a, not only an Indian brand, but a global brand. And I think, um, you know, we've been at the forefront of India's, you know, technical revolution, technology revolution for the last 35, 40 years. I see India as always an exciting opportunity, always an exciting market for us to look at. Our telecom business is now, you know, $120 billion. We have a payments business, insurance businesses, agriculture. Now, those are our traditional businesses, and I'm looking at all the new exciting businesses, whether it's in financial services, payments, lending, insurance, and software businesses that are building not just for India, but also for the globe. And I think for the first time in the last three or four years, we've seen this big shift, as we were discussing on the panel, of great entrepreneurs <laughs> problem-solving real issues that will have great scale. Uh, one very interesting idea from India that has revolutionized the world that, you know, uh, in fact has been huge for the entire world in your opinion. Well, I think, you know, engineering talent in India has always been at the forefront. I think we've got exceptional builders, exceptional problem solvers and whether it's entrepreneurs or whether it's professionals, you see some of the largest technology companies in the world are run by Indians. I think we've got great entrepreneurs that are building, you know, amazing businesses all across the globe. We've been lucky enough to invest in a few of them. Uh, whether it's data analytics for energy consumption and management, whether it's cybersecurity, um, whether it's financial services and payments. I think there's a lot of problems that you know, Indian founders are solving and we're hoping to partner with them in the next many decades. Super. Are you also looking at investing in some Indian firms, any specific sectors that are on your radar? So we, we are sector specialists. So we spend time in enterprise software and AI and financial services, the fintech. So those are always our two sectors that we look at. Um, we are evaluating a handful of businesses. Um, Hopefully, we'll be able to make a few investments reasonably soon and we'll make a disclosure at that point in time. So reasonably soon means by the end of this year is no, something I think, expected? You know, we are, you know, we partner with businesses for the long term. So our diligence process is unlike a typical venture firm. We take our time. We want to make sure we're partnering. We're helping these businesses for the next 10, 20, 30 years. So, you know, at the right time and the uh, you know, appropriate time when we are you know, in agreement of our partnership, we'll, of course, disclose it. As a young leader, uh, what do you expect from uh, India in terms of, you know, how business is done? Uh, do you expect some kind of a policy change that is the need of the hour at this moment? Because India has a goal to become developed nation by 2047. Look, I, I would say that the, the biggest shift that's happened and is a positive, great positive shift is that we have a clear narrative on where India wants to go as a nation. I think if you look at all the digitization that's happening through the government, you can do e-invoicing, e-taxation filing, UPI was a great beneficiary and building the entire fundamental building blocks of India. I think as long as we are headed to the same common goal, same direction, I think you know, founders will have the ambition to build businesses. And as long as there's capital flowing into the economy, which we're seeing on a continual basis over the last 10 years to now, I think we'll get some great outcomes. And I'm really excited about what, uh, what the nation has to build. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks so much. Thank you. In Riyadh with video journalist Gopal, this is Hina Gambhir for Times Now.